We are catching up with the stars of Empire and Scream Queens today, but first, the frankly confusing reason why Olivia Wilde was turned down from a high-profile role. It's a story that might seem familiar because it's happened before. Olivia Wilde, who is 32, has revealed she was turned down for the role of Leonardo DiCaprio's wife in Wolf of Wall Street because she was, quote, too old. Wilde shared the tidbit during an interview on The Howard Stern Show. I had heard for a part that I was too sophisticated, and then I found out later that they actually said old. I want to make, like, a translation sheet for Hollywood that's, like, all the feedback your agents give you and then what it really what it means. Really mean. For the record, Wilde was 28 at the time the movie was made, and Leo was 37. The role eventually went to Australian actress Margot Robbie, now 25 years old. By the way, Wilde says she's not mad about it, but this isn't the first time we've seen a seemingly double standard in casting male versus female actors. Last year, Maggie Gyllenhaal revealed she was told at 37 that she was too old to play the love interest of a 55-year-old man. Luck be a lady tonight. The music industry is remembering Frank Sinatra Jr. this morning after the singer's death yesterday following a heart attack. He was 72. The musician who carried on his legendary father's musical legacy was expected to perform a show in Florida last night but passed away unexpectedly. The stars of TV's hottest shows have been burning up the red carpet at Paley Fest over the past week, and Entertainment City was there to catch up with all of them. Enter Empire. What I love about the show is that we deal with a lot of things that people deal with in reality. I hope that we, we keep bringing inspirational messages and keep showing families not to fight over dumb things and just to love each other and watch Empire with snacks and wine. Will do, Bashir. Meanwhile, the cast of Scream Queens is getting ready to strain their voices once more in season two of the hit horror comedy. We must put to bed wild rumors of a serial killer, a so-called red devil. For me, the pleasure is I'm 58 years old. I've been an actress for a very long time and I get arguably the best writing I've ever had, so I'm thrilled. And with the news that season two will take place in a hospital, we're wondering how our favorite Chanel will cope with the loss of her fabulous wardrobe. I don't know if they have stilettos in hospitals, but we'll see. Maybe Chanel will have to get some sneakers, which I don't think she'll like sneakers. Of course, in real life, Emma Roberts is just as stylish as her on-screen character, which makes her the perfect fit for this week's fashion feature. I am here with Claude and Ashley, our beautiful model, and we are at Marshall's to find out what the look of the week is, and it is... Nautical, as seen on Emma Roberts. So what is the key element that we need to look nautical? Well, you need something with stripes. This is a tank dress. It's longer, yep. so totally on trend this season. This is $24.99. Because it's sleeveless, it's just something you can wear now, lay it on the jacket, but it will take you into summer as well. You can go to the office with it, dressed with a tailored jacket like we're seeing today. Really important, the accessories. You don't want to go too matchy-matchy and go for navy and white accessories. Okay. For me, we go for like a neutral shade shoes like we have those wonderful brown leather sandals with the metallic chunky heel which yes. is very on trend this season and the shoes are $99.99. Eat your heart out Emma Roberts. We're saving money. <laughs> Remember to get all of your entertainment news first in the morning right here and anytime on Twitter at Ent City. This segment is brought to you in part by Marshalls. Enter for a chance to win a $1,000 Marshalls shopping spree at breakfasttelevision.ca.